Hey everyone, I am here tonight with Laura Lomers. Uh, this is Andrea Balboni, sex, love, and relationship coach. And here with me tonight is Laura. She's a sensual pleasure um, coach as well. And I asked Laura to come speak with us tonight because she has a very interesting story to tell. Uh, <laughs> many of us are kind of waiting for this Prince Charming to come along and um, bring us alive again or help us to feel more sexy, especially if you've been single for a long time. You're kind of like, well, when that hot guy comes along, then I'll feel turned on again and I'll feel alive again and I'll feel um, sexy again. And um, Laura actually has an interesting story because she actually was with a gorgeous incredible man when all of a sudden she experienced um, a shutdown in her body and in her sexiness and her sensuality so I am going to ask her a few questions about how that experience was and how she brought herself back alive again so notice that I didn't say how he brought her back alive again. Laura did some work on her own. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and I thought some of the, the work that she's done on her own that brought her back alive could be very, very useful for anyone who's um, single and trying to get this um, aliveness back in them, the sexiness, the sensuality back in them. And also for anyone who's in a relationship who may have experienced a similar thing. Mm -hmm. So um, Laura will tell her story. I'll be quiet in a minute. And then um, we'll answer any questions you have. So if anyone has any questions they want to ask either myself or Laura, you are more than welcome. Just type into the comment box and we are here to, um, to speak with you and excited to do so. And um, um, and then I will tell you a little bit about what's coming up next week. Uh, so uh, it's a special session where I'll be demystifying or bringing your attention to a magical thing called the Jade Egg. So first we will hear from Laura on her story. So yeah, so if you could tell us a little bit about your experience, um, how you, maybe how you met your, your now your husband, and um, what happened when you uh, went through this thing that this change the shift from kind of this amazing amazing beautiful vibrant story to all of a sudden this surprising kind of shutdown. Yeah So that all started about eight and a half years ago okay. um, We met in a bar <laughs> <laughs> And he really made a lot of effort to seduce me and to woo me in and he was very successful so mm. Yeah, it was a very intense beautiful and hot first few months Amazing. Um, and kind of loud <laughs> okay, great. Um, and all of a sudden I completely shut down I mm. lost every sense of sensuality of turn on in my body even like soft stroking on my skin I couldn't feel anymore it was just complete um, shutdown so wow. Yeah, it was kind of scary even because I didn't recognize myself. And now mm -hmm. I was with a partner um, that was really, really yeah, safe and gorgeous. And mm -hmm. I felt so at home with. And so why did that happen? It yeah. was a really, really intense uh, experience. Mm -hmm. yeah. So can you talk a little bit more about how when the shutdown happened, um, what you understood from that or what you were able to kind of see once your body kind of shut down what did you do to move you forward so when that happened I was really trying to get a grip of why it happened so mm. I put the focus first on him okay <laughs> <laughs> there must be something wrong or something you do um, and that wasn't it mm. so he was really trying to work with me but yeah that wasn't the case um, around that time I also um, yeah became pregnant of my okay. first daughter and afterwards a second daughter and during that time we had little alive moments mm -hmm. but I was just like maybe you know I'm past 30 and maybe this is it you know my mm. um, alive years are behind me and um, I just have to get used that this is the, the new me mm. um, yeah, but after after those pregnancies, I um, yeah, I found out that I was 
probably suffering from a depression and I mm -hmm. saw a therapist okay. and I was she, um, and I had a couple of months of therapy mm -hmm. which helped to alleviate the symptoms and um, anxiety depression and anxiety yeah but I still didn't feel that aliveness that I was used to. And I kept on looking and looking and looking online mm. for a solution. Um, and fortunately, I did find a solution. Yeah, yeah. great, great. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about what, uh, what you learned or what you found or what finally helped you? Yeah, what really helped me was um, a self-pleasure practice, a holistic self-pleasure uh, practice. Mm, yeah. Okay. Holistic self-pleasure practice. Okay, so let's break that down. <laughs> yeah. So self-pleasure practice is uh, is masturbation um, as we know it. So self-pleasure is that certain, certainly I understand that part of it. But what about this holistic part? What is that about? Yeah, so I kind of, you know, masturbated before in my relationship with Peter more in a um, habitual way mm. just to reach an orgasm mm. and this was different this was putting the focus on breath uh putting the focus on uh sensations instead of um just goal oriented uh self-pleasuring okay yeah so by focusing kind of on yourself rather than um what was happening in lovemaking with him by focusing on you then you were able to kind of it sounds like come back in touch with your body, come back yeah. in touch with yourself. Yeah. And that's what began to kind of light you up again and move you through things. Mm -hmm. Hi, Angela. How are you doing? <laughs> Thanks for coming. Um, so were there specific tools that you used in the holistic practices that were helping you move through things? Yeah. One of the first things that really <clears throat> helped me was um, body meditation. Okay and speaking my sensations out loud so that was without any touching or without um putting focus on pleasure but just becoming aware of what went on in my body okay um so that could be like lying down and relaxing and just say i have a, an itch in my right knee or a tingle in my left toes or um, I feel like a burning sensations in my chest. Mm -hmm. Just really simple, but it really um, kept me present inside of my body instead of in my head. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and I was really, really uh, in my head a lot. Mm. Yeah. I think that's pretty, pretty much probably where most of us are most mm. of the time. Yeah. yeah. So um, just focusing on what was happening on a sensory level in your yeah. body helped. Yeah. And, uh, massively. Yeah. So also during self pleasuring, and also during love making. Mm, yeah. Okay. So Great. getting out of the, it has to be a certain way. It has to mm -hmm. look a certain way. It has to sound a certain way, or um, I have to feel pleasure like this. Pleasure should feel like this, or I should be able I, to reach an orgasm. Yeah. Mm, mm. So less focused on where you were going to and more focused on what was just happening then and yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Incredible. Yeah. And um, I would say also in my own experience that that's really shifted things for me as well is just noticing what I'm, am, I'm uh, going through in the moment. Yeah. And it just brings everything into 3D almost. You just get become so much more alive. Mm -hmm. and Yeah. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So the next thing you were mentioning also was breath. Can yeah. you tell me a bit about that? So, yes, I did yeah, yoga, uh, meditation courses. So mm -hmm. breathing was also, you know, something interesting to me. We are so used to just shallow breaths. Mm -hmm. But as a baby or even child, we have. You know, we breathe with our bellies, we have deep breaths, and yeah, we, along the way we uh, we lose that deep mm. breath. Um, and by breathing deeply and consciously, and also something that's called a connected breath, okay, um, with no pause between the inhale and the exhale, again, focusing on that kept me out of my head mm -hmm. and opened up my body mm. and the sensations into my wow. body wow. and a lot of energy okay yeah. 
So can you talk a little bit more about when you opened your body to sensations, what shifted or changed or what happened as you did that? Um, yeah, I, I got to uh, experience, but also appreciate the, the little, um, little feelings and the little, mm. you know, sensations that I usually would not even notice. Mm. Um, but with wow. this, I just, I noticed them and I felt them and by focusing on those little sensations I could make them bigger mm. and expand mm. from there and also feel them through my whole body mm. so um, yeah pleasure wasn't just in my pelvic area or my vagina or my breasts or whatever but you know through my whole body mm. and really enjoying the little the, the little moments. sensations oh, and moments. Wow. Yeah. So it sounds like it was just really, really simple things that you did yeah. that really made a huge difference. And it also, what I'm hearing is um, that by spending time with yourself, just exploring this stuff on your own by yourself, you were able to move through a lot of what was what was blocking you or where you mm -hmm. had sort of shut down. Yeah. Yeah. Incredible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And I'll add also. Um, relieved Peter a little bit from you know all the pressure I put on to him mm -hmm. because okay. he felt like he was doing something wrong but it really helped me to focus on my sensations mm. and, um, yeah mm. and yeah. also doing those those practices together really helped with our intimacy and mm -hmm. getting attuned or in tune with each other okay yeah. beautiful yeah. amazing um okay then in the beginning, you had mentioned that when you were together first with Peter, that it was quite loud. Mm -hmm. And that reminds me that sound was something else you had yeah. mentioned as helping, um, yeah. helping you. Yeah. Yeah. You so, um, yes, sounding out sensations, mm -hmm. which means that whatever you feel, um, that uh, organically, you know, that a sound out, but that doesn't really sound like poor necessarily or like um, Hollywood romantic movie um, but just really the true sounds that come up when you feel something mm. yeah which uh, just breathing feeling into all the sensations and breathing out and sounding whatever came out mm. which was in the beginning a bit weird to do <laughs> okay <laughs> Uh, but yeah, as I practice that more and more, it really became something that just organically comes now mm. and really helps to liberate stuckness. Okay, great. Yeah. So it sounds like even more coming alive, even more energy moving and things flowing and happening yeah. and just by sounding. And do you also sound when you're um, doing self-pleasure practice? Yeah. 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 Okay. So it's a conscious, um, really focusing on sensations. Um, sometimes I make a nice intention uh, for what I want to feel um, and um, breathing and sounding so it all drops me really deep into my body mm. yeah. and the key to being in your body is that you're feeling everything really fully yeah by staying in your body and out of your head you're really really feeling again yeah. and also so being it's... really accepted accepting mm. of whatever comes instead mm. of um, judging again with my head yeah what is good and what isn't good mm. yeah. so when you get to a point where you can kind of accept your experience and accept what's happening then it sounds like it allows for a softening yeah. um a softening into the experience yeah. which kind of brings us to the next <laughs> yeah the next um the next tip that you were you were telling me about before of relaxation Versus, versus tension, tension. Yeah. yeah yeah so if you can tell everyone yeah so what i said before the self-pleasure or masturbation you know the masturbation when i was younger i was just so tense and so goal-oriented um and with everything that i had learned was to uh also relax into the experience mm -hmm. uh, so literally relaxing my muscles all my pelvic muscles and my belly and my thighs and and well actually my whole body mm. was able to relax more into the uh, sensations and also let pleasure come through to uh, my whole body instead wow. of being contained and 
and tense in this little region. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think again, like you were saying before, that's another thing that we sort of see on the movies and in films is this kind of like this race towards yeah. this tension, this build up, this kind of thing. And instead what I'm hearing from you is that by relaxing completely yeah. and letting go completely, that you were able to experience a lot more pleasure, yeah. a lot more beauty in the moment. Yeah. 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 And also more accepting in love making. Yeah. 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 As That's well. So mm -hmm. then Yeah. Mm, it gave you maybe space as well because you weren't yeah. striving towards something. It gave you space to really drop in to your body and feel things fully and enjoy just the little sensations, the shifts and the changes that were happening. Um, and just sounds like it really, really woke you up. And this is really, really what brought you alive again. Yeah. So thank you so much for sharing. That was beautiful. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll take any questions if anyone has any questions. And I'll just do a quick review. So Laura spoke about how she uh, was in a beautiful relationship with a wonderful man. And um, this allowed her to feel really safe and or he was feeling very safe. And because of this, um, it was something that she wasn't really used to from past relationships she had had. And the safety is what kind of almost, in a way, um, it wasn't really what shut you down. What shut you down was more um, without having the distraction of drama in the relationship. Now there was this space to sort of look at things yeah. and really be there in your, in your own space, in your yeah. own place. And that's kind of what made your body react and um, and shut down and so then she spoke quite a bit about how she got through that that stuckness and how she got back into this beautiful sensual woman that she is now <laughs> so um, just really quickly the four holistic tools that that Laura used in self-pleasure and then also when she was with her um, with her husband with her lover are um, to focus on the sensation so focusing on the tiny tiny sensations in her body and she even would just name them even if it was like my elbows itching or um, my lips feel a little bit yeah. Tingly. Tingly. <laughs> Tingly is nice. Yeah. To just notice them. So that was step one of the tools. And then the second was breath, mm -hmm. where uh, just having deep, deep, continual breaths that really brought her into her body as well, allowed her to really wake up again to the sensations that were happening in the moment. Um, the third was sound, so sounding the sensations and bringing voice to whatever she was feeling, whether she was alone or with someone. Um, liberated energy and got things moving and really helped wake her up again, feel less inhibited, uh, less shy perhaps to really let go. And then relaxing, relaxing versus tension. So relaxing into uh, the moment, whatever it had with, with graceful acceptance of whatever that experience gave her was, was good. Is there anything else that you would like to, to share or add? No, I'm just really glad that this path opened up for me and I yeah. kind of sick because yeah it made my relationship so much deeper and mm. I you know I stayed with a man that I feel like I will stay with for the rest of my life so yeah yeah but it it was it was a really hard time so mm. also for him to to have patience and keep you know providing that safety and mm. um, that love that helped me to get through you know some old wounds um and also deepen our relationship so mm. and our sex life yeah <laughs> <laughs> on fire yeah so i guess um another thing i wanted to just mention was for anyone who is in um or starting to date someone or in a relationship where the safety is feeling boring or the safety is feeling a little bit um unusual uh or just kind of turning you off is to stay with it for a minute and just do a little bit of introspection and maybe see, test and see, is this, is this safety something that is boring or is it actually giving me a chance to now work on some stuff I really need to work on? Um, it's obviously everyone is different, every relationship is different and uh, if you decide to stay or go is up to you, only you can really know. But in Laura's case, by staying with the situation and really looking at things and taking things into her own hand and work 
hands and working through them on her own um, turned out for her to be the way forward. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So just wanted to share another perspective and also to let all the single ladies out there know and men that you can you can reawaken the fire inside of you. You can do practice some of these holistic sex tools to really uh, awaken things up for you um, on your own so that when you are together with someone, again, you know your body really well. You know yourself really well. And you're able to share all of this this beauty with someone. So, yeah, it makes it even more special, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you can easily label it as boring. Mm. Um, but staying with it opens up so much more that it's absolutely not boring. Mm. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It brought you to places you never would have thought, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. and so I'll just talk a little bit about next week and what I will be introducing. So one of the tools that Laura did use and that I also use to help uh, keep me alive and feeling super vibrant and sexy and sensational is something called the Jade Egg. And I think for both <laughs> of us, it's pretty magic and yeah. pretty special, and um, it's actually quite practical. So I keep saying magic, but it's not magic. It's it's, it's a bit of magic, but it's a lot of practical, um, it's a practical uh, tool that you can use. It's a physical object. It's an egg that's been used for thousands of years to help women stay super, super, super in touch with their body and their sexuality and, and their aliveness. So I'll be talking about that on next week's Facebook Live, and um, we'll be sharing some, getting some tips from Laura after <laughs> this as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 it's, it's been fantastic. Great. So I think both of us have been using the Jade Egg now for a few years. Um, Make sure you watch next week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a good one. It'll be a good one. The Jade Egg's fantastic. So um, with that, we will go. We'll say bye and have a wonderful evening um, or day, whenever you're watching this. Yeah, thank you. And thank you so much for, for traveling here and yeah. sharing your story. And it was wonderful. Having me. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <sighs>